course, the Indianapolis 500 runs tomorrow, too, and you'll see that on ABC exclusively tomorrow night, 8.30 Eastern Time. Jackie Stewart will be joining the American colleagues with a comment and a hard rocking combination by Valdez. In the first minute of round number four. <laughs> They're really banging. Some blood off the left side of Valdez's face. I don't know if it's from him or if it's from Benny. They're both oozing a little bit from that hard exchange. Looks like it might be a cut around the corner of Valdez's left eye. Valdez wearing the white trunks. Harry Gibbs is the referee. This sanctioned by the World Boxing Council and the British Boxing Board. Couple of good left and a combination inside with Valdez. And Frisco bangs away on the body. And we're halfway through round four. with the uppercut. And it does appear the cut is over the left eye of Valdez. Good part, right hand by Valdez. And another one, and another one. Both men are bleeding. With Briscoe's style, obviously he has to absorb punishment because he just keeps coming, just keeps coming. And the secret is, the minute you see Benny start to back up, you know that he's in some trouble. As we come up with 20 seconds to go now, round number four. Inside 10 seconds. Jackie, yes. the fight. Yes, uh, Pescarola, one of the BRM drivers for the Monaco Grand Prix that takes place tomorrow. A keen boxing fan. Beltoise is here as well as the round gets underway. A lot of racing drivers come to try and relax the night before the event. Round number five. Valdez in the white trucks. Rodrigo is from Colombia, was a fisherman, started his boxing career there, came to the United States when he was about 18 years of age. Matter of fact, he couldn't read and write when he came to this country, but since coming here, he has been attending school, private tutoring, and obviously a great many people think he has a real opportunity, to, if not tonight, then in a short period of time, to win the World Middleweight Championship. Oh, he hammered Frisco inside and then took it to the head. And Frisco faded back into the ropes. Cut over the left eye of Valdez, a hard right hook inside. Rocks Brisco back on his heel. Valdez almost dropped him in the first round with a straight right hand. Come and just miss. He's quick with it. And he's not timid about it. He'll use it as a lead. He is able to land it with a good deal of authority. These are middleweights. 157 and a half for Valdez, 156 and a half for Brisco. And he's out of Philadelphia. Record of 49 and 9 coming into the fight. Briscoe's only performance of 1974. A knockout of 21 Dean in Paris. Knocked him out in five rounds. Briscoe backs into the ropes. It's been a very easy evening so far for the referee Gibbs. He's had nothing to do but watch. The right hand again rocks Briscoe as Valdez took it inside and worked the combination.
Valdez's only fight was a win over Ernie Burns in March down in Cartagena in Colombia, which is his home area. Right hand miss. Twenty seconds to go in round five. Again, the cut over the left eye, the corner of the left eye, starting to bleed as we come to the end of round number five. Here we go with round number six. Valdez and White Briscoe with a clean shaven head. Both men have been oozing some blood. A little cut over the left eye of Valdez, Briscoe, bleeding from the nose, and it's been a war, a furious pace, and it's the kind of thing that we all expected, though Valdez came out and opened in much sharper fashion than we anticipated that he would. He almost decked Briscoe in the first round. Now as we go into round number six, he has the edge in the fight. But many Briscoe's offensive attitude has always been just simply to walk in and bang away, and he's continuing to do it here in this fight. At the end of this round, we will be giving all of our stations their station break. That's the end of this round. As you watch live in color via satellite from Monte Carlo on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Coming up later, some comments and predictions about the Indianapolis 500, which you'll see tomorrow on ABC and over most of these stations at 8.30 Eastern Time. Risco turns away. Claiming low blow, Harry Gibbs, the referee, doesn't buy it. He was hit low, but did not appear to be hit very hard. He got just nailed with a right hand by Valdez right there. Now the cut is bleeding again over the left eye of Valdez. The Indianapolis area, of course, will not see the coverage of the Indianapolis 500. Tomorrow. Frisco just keeps coming. You hammer him and he shakes you off and just keeps coming. And it can get discouraging. Has for a lot of people. He's won 49, he's lost nine. Goodly amount of blood now coming from that cut at the corner of the left eye of Valdez. Valdez in white trunks. They slow some here in the sixth round. The first five were just furious. And now on the ropes, Briscoe scores with a good short left hook. Snap Valdez's head back. Benny is getting to that eye. Looks like he's opened it some more. up on the end of round six we'll be back with more of abc's wide world of sports after this message from our local station hey uh doug watch where your key when you're fooling around with that Seventh round, world middleweight title fight for the World Boxing Council title, and also sanctioned by the British Boxing Board. It's brought on because Carlos Monzon of Argentina retired 
and maintained his posture of retirement through the 90 day waiting period. And so the World Boxing Council lifted the middleweight championship. And here you have the second and third ranked fighters according to the WBC rankings squared off in Monte Carlo for the title. There is a cut that has grown more pronounced. The left eye corner of the left eye of Rodrigo Valdez who is a native Colombian. Eddie Briscoe of course is from Philadelphia. He's wearing the Star of David on his red trunks. He wears it on his robe. He has not been converted to the Jewish faith as yet but obviously he's pondering it. Best shot of the fight. He went right into that eye that's cut and opened it up again. Another right hand by Briscoe.